For the first time since 2018, Louisiana has lost back-to-back -back games. Between those two L's, the Cajuns have scored one touchdown in the second half. That one coming in their first loss of the year against Rice. Now, in order to avoid a three-game losing streak, the Cajuns must beat arguably the best team in the Sun Belt in South Alabama. The Cajuns are winners of their last six meetings with the Jags. Let's start things off in the first quarter. Cornerback Eric Guerra is from South Alabama, and every time he sees the hometown Jags, he turns into Devin Hester, maybe even Pac-Man Jones. He returns this punt 69 yards for a score. UL leads 7-0. It's actually his third career punt return touchdown. He's tied for the school record. Let's jump ahead to the second quarter now. Three minutes before half, South Al finally gets on the board. LaDamian Webb leaps over the pile for the one-yard score. It's 7-7 at recess. USA would go up 10-7 in the third and then in the fourth. Carter Bradley keeps it to make it a 10-point lead for the Jags. UL would cut it to seven. Now under three minutes to go, Ben Woolrich finds Peter LeBlanc for the 18-yard gain and the first under a minute to go now. At the one, Woolrich finds Pierce Meagle for the one-yard score. The Welsh product scores his second touchdown of the year and ties the game at 17. USA, though, trying to get in field goal range and already in UL territory. Bradley connects with Jalen Wayne at the Cajuns 26, and that's going to set up Diego, Diego Guerrero for 43 yards out, and he sneaks it through the uprights. And for the first time in half a decade, South Alabama beats UL 20 to 17. The Cajuns are now 0-2 in Sun Belt play. That hasn't happened since 20 since 2005, their first year in the Sun Belt. Sports director Seth Lewis had a front row seat of the loss and has more from Cajun Field. As inept as Louisiana's offense was all night against South Alabama, Pierce Meagle's one-yard touchdown catch with 42 seconds left gave the Cajuns a fresh breath of hope with overtime potentially on the horizon. But that was too much time for South Alabama as they drove 49 yards in 42 seconds and Diego Guajardo kicked the game-winning field goal to deliver heartbreak at Cajun Field and also UL's first three-game losing streak since 2018. Uh, the, the last series, uh... We were in our, uh, a, a different package, you know, a package kind of for that situation. So I wasn't in, but, you know, we know that they'll run the ball any down, uh, especially third and long, they'll run the ball. We had a good plan. Uh, it's just, you know, we have good players, they have good players, and, you know, that type of stuff just happens in, in, in games like this whenever it's close like that. It's kind of the same story. You know, you take a handful of plays and you, and you flip them and you turn them and, and you're getting the results that you want. Um, I truly believe that this team has what it takes to be a good football team. We haven't played great so far, you know, and it's, it's self-inflicted. It's things that, you know, no one else controls but us. I don't think you ever feel like you have done enough. Um, there's multiple times in, previously in the game where us as an offense could have had the defenses back and maybe helped the defense a little more, getting, a, getting points, getting field goals. And then when you get into the red zone, you want to score touchdowns. I mean, of course, you know, any, any loss hurts, but, I mean, it, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's a part of the game, you know. Uh, it, it's just in the moment, you know, things going so fast. Uh, it, 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 you know, like I said, they have good players. We have good players, and, and players stepped up on both sides of the ball, really. You know, we made plays, they made plays, and, and that's to be expected, you know, whenever we know we're, we're playing a good opponent. This is also the Cajuns' first loss at home since 2020 and South Alabama's first win in this series since 2015. And to add insult to injury, quarterback Chandler Fields left this game at halftime with an undisclosed injury. Head coach Michael Desimo says that he will be reevaluated on Monday, but also he added that the bye week couldn't come at a better time for this Cajuns group. Covering the Cajun, Seth Lewis, KTC Sports.